What's going on, Cloud Scholars? I hope everyone out there is having a blessed day. My name is Kieran Tross, and this is part four to Azure Log Analytics series. In this part, I'm gonna to talk to you about log analytics and how to manage access. So in your company, uh, there may be times where you're, you know, you're using your log analytics workspace, but you're like, okay, I don't need everybody to be querying within my log analytics workspace. How do you go about setting up your log analytics workspace so that this way you can provide granular permissions to those tables to those specific areas within the log analytics workspace and i'm going to show you how to do that um, within this uh, specific uh, video so let's first look at what our task is for this video to be successful all right so here's our task so first let's talk about the log analytics access mode so there are two types of access modes within log analytics So there's a workspace context. Uh, you can view all logs in the workspace for which you have permissions. Queries in this mode are scoped to all data in the tables in the workspace. Then there's resource context. With resource context, this gives you the more granular level reads, exactly what I was talking about earlier. Uh, you can view logs for only resources in all tables that you have access to. So just to talk a little bit more about the workspace context and the resource context, um, and I'm going to I'm going to put this uh, information inside the description of this video where you can you read through the documentation. But, you know, both slides uh, have uh, screenshots of uh, from Microsoft documentation. I don't want you to think I wrote that up myself. This is all from Microsoft documentation so anybody can see this. So you have your uh, workspace context and you look at the left hand uh, column. It says issue who is each model intended for? So it talks a little bit about what workspace context and, and what your intentions are for that one. It says central administration administrators who need to configure data collection and users who need access to a wide variety of resources. Then resource context is application teams, administrators, or Azure resources being monitored allows them to focus on their resource without filtering. Um, and then it says, what does a user require to view logs? It says permission to the workspace for the workspace context. And then resource context, read access to the resource. Uh, and it says permissions can be inherited from the resource group or subscriptions are directly assigned to the resource permissions to the logs for that resource. And then over there it says that what is the scope of the permissions? I really want to focus on the resource context here. Uh, users can query logs for specific resources, resource groups or subscriptions they have access to in any workspace. So that is what we're referring to, right? That's, that's exactly what I want to talk about here and, and do a deep dive and show you exactly how we go about accomplishing that. So back over here at the Log Analytics Workspace, we're talking about access mode resource context. So the first thing we need to do is put our access mode into resource context. So back over at the Azure portal, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my Scholar's Workspace. And if you notice here in overview, it says uh, require workspace permission, right? So that is the original, uh, by out of the, out of the box, your Log Analytics Workspace is gonna look like this. So if I come down here and I go to properties, I went a little too far. And then all you need to do is click here to change the access control permissions. And then here you have reuse resource or workspace permissions. So that is completed. So the next step that we have to do is we have to create a custom role and grant our group access to the role. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to access control IM. And then within access control, we're gonna go to roles. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna clone this reader role right here. So I'm gonna click clone. And what I want to do is I want to give access to this uh, this role to a specific team. So this team is going to need access to certain tables. So I'll just say app one team, All right? And then I can just say access for app one team on uh, workspace tables. And then over here in permissions, uh, and we have a, a, a signable scope, we have JSON. This is really where we're going to be working at, right? So what I want to show you is that uh, there's two ways of doing this. You can do this through the API. Um, I'm going to show you the legacy way of going about uh, getting this completed. Uh, so if I'm, I'm going to go jump to a Microsoft documentation so you can see exactly what I'm referring to. So if you're here at the Microsoft documentation, if you go to the bottom of the link that's going to be in the description, you say, it says here are example of custom role actions to grant and deny access to specific tables. Grant access to the heartbeat and Azure, active, uh, Azure activity tables. 
So let's go back to our table and let's see exactly what tables are there in our Lala Analytics workspace. So we have all these different tables here. So if we want to grant somebody's access, we can go ahead and do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back over here. I'm going to copy this over. Well, actually, I just need this one. And I'm just going to use this as a baseline. Okay, so we have this information here, but there's other things that we can do if we want to. So we have the Operations Insight Workspace Read, Operations Insight Workspace Query Read, and then we can drop our tables in here like we want to. So let's go back to our tables and let's see if we wanted to add anything else. So we have this perf one here, so we can add them to the perf. And then that's pretty much how we'd go about doing it. Another thing I want to show you going back to the Microsoft documentation is it says you can grant access to a specific table and you can see you have to have these two here first, these two lines here, and then you can add your additional tables specifically. And then they give you more information where you grant access to all tables except for the security table. So you can say right here, query read all this is all because this is, this is where the table will be the name and then down here you just now throw your exceptions so if i have a security team and i'm like okay they need access to pretty much everything except for these three tables i can add the three tables down here in this section and then that will be that So over here, what we have is our role that we're creating still. So we are uh, fine with Heartbeat, Azure Activity, and then the Perf Read. And then what we're gonna do is review and create. Well, actually, let me save this first. And then review and create. So we got, we have successfully created it. And you can see right here, it says access for app one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a role, we're gonna, Come back up here, add role assignment. App, one team. And then members, I'm gonna go ahead and select the members. And we have app one team. And we click select. And then we click on review. Review and assign. And that's it. So, that is pretty much how you go about doing the access modes. You need to first put your log analytics workspace in the correct access mode. And then once you put your log analytics workspace in the correct access mode, you then need to uh, clone the reader um, role. Once you clone the reader role, you can name your custom role, whatever you want. I, you know, I suggest you probably call it the name of the group. Um, really depends on your organization. And then once you go ahead and you knock that out, then you wanna grant access to that group, to that role and you wanna make sure that your permissions are set correctly when you create the custom role. Uh, I would have two tabs open and just make sure you know the, the name of your table so this way you can set it up. And then now your staff um, or the external team will be able to do their queries and run uh, what they need to run within the Log Analytics workspace. So um, that is pretty much it. That wraps up uh, part four, which is Log Analytics, how to manage access. Uh, if you haven't done so already, please smash that like and subscribe button. I hope you like the content here. If you have any questions or anything like that, please uh, let me know. Uh, leave a comment. I'm more than happy to respond, and i like to hear back from you, the viewers. So as always, uh, the goal here is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you, and see you next time.